Hey everybody, this is a tutorial for setting up my custom coaster styles. I'll be setting up the Vacoma Fly Kit, my most difficult style to set up at the moment. I'm covering trains, track, and track devices. I'll start with trains. Heads up! You will need the professional version of No Limits 2 for this tutorial, as well as a script by Best Danny. Link for his script is in the description. First, let's start with your coaster layout. Open its coaster properties. Make sure your ride is named FLY, all capital letters. Set the coaster style to Twisted Flying, the B&M Flying Coaster style, and set the heart line to negative one meter. For the number of cars, you want one extra car for the, for the front car. For example, a 20-seater, 10-row train like Fly would need 11 cars. For setting up the trains, under the Scenery tab, click on Choose, then open the Spinning Cars folder. Let's start with the bogies. Just place these close to your wireframe train. The zero car is set up the same way. However, for the actual cars, we need to number them. Double click on each car object and fill in the car number. Let's set up the track devices, LSMs and spinning triggers. These can also be found in the spinning cars folder. For the LSMs, place this object at the start of your launch section. The brake section starting the launch is 22 meters and the transport section after is 25 meters. So we should add those up and name the LSM object 47, the total length of the launch in meters, but I'll round down slightly to 45. For the spinning triggers, place them exactly where you want the rotation to start. If you make a separate coaster to freeze for supports and catwalks, please note that the spinning triggers might attach to that track instead. So make sure your spinning triggers are placed exactly on the blue line so they attach to your wireframe coaster named Fly, not the Frozen coaster. Double click on each spinning trigger, set the angle for rotation and the time taken. From seated to flying position, try 90 degree rotation, positive. From flying to seated position, try negative 90 degree rotation. Finally, it's time to add the custom track. Open Professional tab, then click Export Track Spline. Make sure it's at the center of the rails and that the CSV file is exported somewhere that you can find easily. Now let's open the Blender file. Click File in the top left corner, then Import, then No Limits 2 Professional Track Data, CSV. This is what you need Best Danny script for. After importing the layout, you should see it as a black line within Blender. Next. Click on the track model, look in your bottom right corner, scroll down, and under curve object, left click on the eyedropper and select your coaster layout. Now scroll up and increase count until your entire coaster layout is covered. Here I just left clicked and moved my mouse to the right to increase the count. Now, to export your generated track, click File in the top left corner, then Export, then GLTF 2.0. Make sure your export settings match these. Time to add the generated track in-game. Under Scenery, click Choose, then find the Track Scenery object. Select that, and then click Add Object. Now, double-click the track object. Set its position to X0, Y0, and Z0 the origin. Alright, that's everything for setting up my fly kit. Setting up all of my custom tracks is the same process as this one. However, with most of my trains, you don't have to set the car number. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact me here or on Discord, KW6's Theater, hashtag 8572.